the gemstone master bathroom picture made up of over 60,000 gemstones and bringing together all the colors that we used in the master bedroom mimicking the picture of the wallpaper that is an artist's painting that we then blew up and printed as wallpaper bringing together the oranges of the wall the red of the bedroom cupboards the blue of the ocean and the sky and of course all the other colors in between the marble headboard in katuba blue beautiful piece of marble and of course just that double volume all coming together we want to create that same sense of gemstone and beauty and this is that story so here is Catherine starting the design of the top stones for the master bathroom and this is going to go above the toilet of the master bathroom. So the idea behind making this was to create a board, a super wood board backing then we would have a bit of a lip and then put the glass in front such that we could fill in the spaces and therefore give the perception of depth but also demonstrate and really show off a whole lot of the different beautiful gemstones. So we calculated by measuring the total surface area by the depth which would therefore give us the volume and we calculated that we would need about 20 kilograms of gemstones. Uh, we set it up the first time we put out all the stones we created on a flat surface, the image that we wanted. We laid the glass over, screwed on the glass with the clips. But the problem was that as soon as we lifted the glass frame up, a whole lot of the stones condensed and compacted. And we lost about two thirds. So for example, if we had a full covering of the board, it shrunk, it compacted to one third, which meant we had way miscalculated. We also realized that the board and the glass, they bowed. Therefore, on the edge might have been something like a one centimeter gap, but in the middle it turned out to be three. So because of the pressure of all the stones, the board and the glass bowed out. So that got us to be a bit concerned. We then had to take it off, undo the clamps, take off the glass again, reinforce the back of the board so that it wouldn't bow, but could stay as straight as possible, and then realized that we would have to build the image of the picture elongated so that when we lift it up and it compacted, it would come back to more or less the dimensions that we had anticipated. So we did that in three different parts. We laid down the first third of the picture, put the glass on, lifted it up, everything shrank down and compacted. We laid it back flat again, took the glass off, did the, the second third, put the glass back on, lifted it up, all the stones fell down again and compacted and then we did that a third time until we had just a section at the top that was remaining and that we filled in from the top and then again once we'd actually lifted it and put it onto the wall which by now was weighing between 60 to 70 kilograms so it had taken probably three times the amount of stones that we had anticipated and that just gives you a thought, it's about um, 60,000 stones that we've put in there. We then had to feed in the stones from the top to make sure it could fill up the whole time. So in the design, I had to think of how could I fill this up such that over time, if it did compact, for whatever reason, I could still feed in some more stones later on. And what you see is exactly how it turned out to be. We're super pleased with that. And of course, we're I'm super curious to hear what you think as well. Okay, so here we are just doing the final adjustments. Pour in from the top, go for it. And catching the waves, similar to the waves out there today. Okay. Someone recently asked me what the cost would be of all the stones if we were to make that picture um, and replicate it. So here's an interesting thought. In 2023, I traveled to New York for business. I went over just for the weekend. And as always, wherever I go, I like to look to see if I can find a gem shop or find and explore other gemstones. And I went into a gemstone shop in the middle of New York City 
And there, as browsing around, I saw the prices of some of the gemstones. And as you can see here, they range between um, $6 and $5, depending on the size, and came down to about 4 and $3, as you see in the pictures here. So I calculated that the picture above the bath has between 60 and 70,000 gemstones in. That's about 70 kilograms. And although the stones in the picture are uh, slightly smaller than the ones that I saw in New York, we could probably average it out that they would therefore cost between two and three dollars each. So do the math, calculate 60,000 stones times by, even if we just go with two dollars a stone, which I think is underrated there, underestimated, that means that this is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of gemstones. Put that into South African rands, um, that at this stage in 2023, is uh, close to 2.5, 2.6 million rand, and that's just for the gemstones. That's not for making and designing the whole uh, picture, but it just goes to show uh, the value that one can put on to such a picture. Quite mind-boggling.